Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting the series Boundary Conditions in ComSol Multiphysics. In the last lecture, we talked about symmetry boundary condition. What is symmetry condition? Where exactly we use it? And how exactly it reduces the computational burden? Similarly, today we are talking about periodic boundary condition. There are some similarities with the symmetry condition as well as some dissimilarities. And that is why periodic boundary condition is taken as a separate entity in ComSol. We will give you a particular example through which we can demonstrate the application of periodic boundary condition. But before I go into exact example, let me talk about, let me give you an analogy. So periodic boundary condition is like uh, if I give you an example of a crystal structure where there are repeated units of unit cells. So all the unit cells have, have actually similar morphology and they are nothing but repeated in a three dimensional structure. Similarly, if you have a geometry like this where there are repetitive structure, then there is no point of drawing the entire geometry and solve for this entire space because if you have more solution space, there will be more number of mesh grids and that is why your computational burden will increase. And in this situation, we can use periodic boundary condition to tell this is one unit and we need uh, in, uh, and in exact geometry, there is a repetition. I give you an example of heat transfer. Suppose uh, there is something called fins. So what is a fin? A fin is an extended structure which is actually increasing the surface area and as we increase the surface area, the heat transfer increases. In many engineering structure, we can we see repeated units of such extended structures and those are called fins. If we have a body where there are multiple fins, they are equidistant, they are having equal uh, structure, all the dimensions are same. In those cases, we can use this periodic condition. There are many such examples. I have given a particular en engineering uh, example. So, say I have only taken two such units. <clears throat> so, here you can see these two units are similar. So, this one and this one. And this is stacked one above another. So, I have assumed that this particular entity is the fin and this is this fin is connected with the main body. So, this is the main body and this is the fin. And there are such structures which are repeated here I have taken only two. So if I want to solve this particular structure I can take this entire geometry and solve or what I can do I can only take one such geometry and use periodic condition to replicate this second one. So initially I will do the simulation for this entire structure as you can see I have taken heat transfer in solid and this is the base and this is the fin. So what are the boundary condition I have taken to mimic this uh, thing? So you can see here I have taken a temperature boundary condition and the temperature of this surface and the back of that surface, uh, those two surfaces are kept at a higher temperature say 400 Kelvin and I have given some heat flux. So there is some obviously if it is a structure uh, I mean radiative uh, heat transfer or conductive heat transfer if it is a structure having fins obviously heat is coming from certain end. So in order to replicate that I have given a heat flux. So this is the uh, surface through which a heat flux is entering and this is the fin surface through which the heat will be going to the atmosphere. So from this surfaces the heat will be going to the atmosphere by convection. So that convective boundary condition I have also taken. So you can see these two surfaces they are having a convective mode of heat transfer which is equal to H A into delta T or H into delta T if we are talking about the heat flux. So I have assumed that 20 watt per meter square Kelvin is the heat transfer coefficient. This is an abrupt value uh, may not be similar with original condition 
but we have to take a value so I have taken 20 watt per meter square Kelvin and the temperature difference is the temperature uh, this temperature is the dynamic temperature when we solve this temperature profile whatever temperature comes at a certain point of time that temperature will be taken and this 298 is assumed to be the atmospheric temperature so the atmosphere into which the heat is dissipating so that temperature is at 298 so the temperature difference would be T minus 298 so we have taken this heat flux now I have taken a certain material say copper for this particular structure so let me uh, calculate let me simulate it so we have taken a time dependent solution we are solving for one second with an interval of 0.1 second so let me just compute it so this one we are calculating for the entire geometry we have not used any periodic boundary condition yet but I have given you the motivation that for this kind of structures instead of having repeated units we can use periodic boundary conditions so after the simulation we are getting this temperature profile this is quite uh, feasible temperature profile because these surfaces were kept at higher temperature you can see if I click here this will be 400 and if I click somewhere in between the temperature will be less because heat transfer is taking place and this is the way heat transfer is taking place and accordingly the temperature profile has uh, become so now uh, what we do we will calculate an average temperature for this entire geometry and then we will be using periodic condition again we will be calculating the average temperature and we will map one to one so let us go to derived values I have already done it so you can see I have taken a volume average and now I will be so I delete the previous solution I will be taking the entire volume so this entire volume I have taken now what I am calculating volume average temperature I am calculating so I calculate it for all the time steps we have solved for one second and as you have seen uh, 0.1 second was the uh, interval at which we were uh, saving the data so if I just click on evaluate it will say store data for 0 second, 0 0.1 second, 0 0.2 second till 1 second so for every time moment the average temperature in this entire geometry is calculated and it is given as a data if I click in this plot it will be plotted against time so as you can see the, this is how the average temperature of the body is changing with respect to time so now comes the application of periodic conditions so how we can do it so as I have told you these two structures are repetitive so I will not be using both the structures I will be using say the bottom one only so I don't need this so I disable the other structure so if I disable it then you can see I go to heat transfer again now I have the bottom one only and this is sufficient to solve for this repetitive structure because now we are going to add periodic condition before we add periodic condition let me uh, show you the boundary condition the way we have taken the boundary condition for the previous structure here also it is similar this surface and the back of this surface uh, those surfaces are kept at 400 Kelvin we added heat flux so in the left there was a heat flux of 20 watt per meter square on the right side we had this convective mode of heat transfer H delta T so the same condition we have taken only thing is we have removed the upper geometry so to compensate removing the upper geometry what we can do we can add a periodic condition so I actually did the simulation so it was already added I disabled it for the last solution now I can enable it again or you can also go to heat transfer you can add another periodic condition both are same so as it is already added I am just enabling this one right clicking and enable this so you can see let me delete all those which were initially taken 
what I will do now I will put a periodic condition so in periodic condition there is something called source and destination that means from where the periodicity is starting say I define the periodicity is starting from here and it is ending here that means this is the entire structure between this two source and destination whatever is there it will be repeated in both the sides so that way it is defined so you can see the three surface three the bottom one shown in green this is the source and this is the destination in between source and destination whatever is there that will be repeated and you can understand in between these two we have this entire structure so if it is repeating it will basically repeat the entire unit so this condition we have imposed uh, heat flux temperature everything is taken now again I will solve it so now we are solving it for this one geometry only we do not have the repeated structure so factually this two simulation should lead to same result because they are the repeated units and as you can see as we have reduced the dimension of the entire structure so we need less number of meshes so the simulation or computational time will be less simulation will be more efficient so here I can show you similar kind of uh, profile has come similar to what we got previously but that is a qualitative statement we have to prove it quantitatively so in order to prove it quantitatively again we go to this volume average so this entire volume is taken so this is the temperature we again calculate the average temperature so we click on evaluate so this is the new average temperature now we plot it again and let us compare with the previous one so you can see they have almost similar result there are some dissimilarities and that is because of numerical issues because our mesh and everything is not so pure pure means we have not defined very fine mesh because it will take more computational time but it is almost similar you can see from here so the average value now somebody may think so if I have this source and this destination this particular fin structure may be lost so if I have that doubt I can add another periodic condition and I can also put this periodicity here you can see in the source I have taken this and in the destination I have taken this so we have used two periodic boundary condition in or if we have any doubt that whether this initial phases were this one and that one in between only this box is there but we don't have this extended part in order to remove that complexity that confusion I have taken another periodic condition and again I solve it so now we have two periodic condition for the safety purpose you can say so again it will be solving and it should be giving same result why because we have defined the periodicity and uh, we have repeated structures so the sim simulation is running we should expect similar temperature profile as we have obtained for previous two let's see so we fit it to the screen so you can see again similar profile is obtained now again we don't believe qualitatively so let us calculate the volume average temperature again so we click on evaluate so again we plot all three so you can see they are almost merging with each other so and this two like if I zoom it there are basically three structure I can also you can also copy these values you can put it on excel or any other plotting software for better visualization for better validation so i hope you have realized where exactly you should be using this periodic condition there are many such engineering condition you may uh, have those kind of structures and uh, this periodic condition may help you reducing the uh, i mean computational time so we'll be 
continuing with this series there will, there are more boundary conditions to learn so if you go through all the videos you will be learning a lot and i hope that will help you in your research thank you very much